I think I had to just stop stressing about the what ifs and just confidently believe in myself. The entire experience was just really once in a lifetime. Getting to the end takes a lot of strength. You have to be ready to test yourself and be okay with what you learn. I hope people see me and realize they can do whatever they want to do as well. In winning Ink Master, I got a bunch of prizes. I won $100,000, I won a Dodge Charger, and I'm here in Texas doing a guest spot all week at Oliver's Shop, Elm Street Tattoo. This is my chaos of a station. There's so much to look at. This is where I'll be tattooing today. This is it. Going into the finale, it really could have been any one of the three. Gian and Kelly and Ryan, all three great artists, but I think that the right person won in the end. It was terrifying being at the finale live, but the style of Fine Line Black and Gray was my way of putting my security blanket back on and thinking, you know, if I don't make it past this tattoo, at least the whole world gets to see what I love and what I'm capable of. I can't believe I was the one that ended up winning. Honestly, I think my initial reaction was just blank shell shock. I really couldn't believe it. Gian, Kelly, and myself, the three of us, had become so close and such good friends during the whole process that it didn't feel as good as I wanted it to feel, you know? I think what I was most worried about was my struggle with color. Big, chunky, 90s new school. When Kelly first assigned me the 90s new school dueling hot rods, I was like, man, she really went for it, huh? She went for the jugular on this one. It's just like we said all season long, you know, if you want to be ink master, you have to show you can attempt everything. So after a few stressful weeks of trying to research, what are hot rods? What do they look like? What is 90s New School? And figuring out exactly what my job really was that I had to accomplish, I kind of just relaxed and decided to have fun with it. And I pleasantly surprised myself. Just looking at Ryan's portfolio and seeing the few tats she did at the very beginning showed versatility. But more than anything, it showed the willingness to try whatever it was going to take to win. Oliver was really hands-on, really instrumental in telling us what we needed to know to do the best in the competition. What is the challenge today? American traditional, which is no white. I know that there have been a lot of amazing women that have competed on Ink Master, you know, prior to my season. I would have bet money that Sarah Miller would have been the first female Ink Master. Megan Jean, who competed on season seven, I was positive she was going to take it as well. It's been great because I've received an immense amount of letters and fan art from very young girls saying, I'm so glad I found you, you inspire me so much. That in itself is the most rewarding feeling, knowing that I have been able to change some of these people's lives by just being honest. I think it's very exciting that a female won. Just seeing the girls tattoo on season eight, all of them, seeing the tattoos they did every challenge, hit or miss, trying for fail, just seeing them make it. That's the inspiration that everybody needs to do the best at what they do in life. Ryan's here. Highly anticipated arrival. A lot of people emailed and called. People are coming out of the woodwork wanting to know when she's going to be here. This is the last little hurrah of my Ink Master season eight life. This is it. You made it. The beginning and the end. You hit the big time. Day. I'm going to do more of like a Tibetan Buddha like headdress on it. Gorgeous. I feel great. I've been welcomed with open arms. Perfect. Look at that. I'm really hoping to produce some awesome tattoos, and I'm excited to just show Texas what I've got. I'm pretty confident that Ryan is going to really blow people's minds throughout the rest of her career. I think she's one of the people that really love it, and she's dedicated to it. And if she stays as dedicated in her career as she was during the competition, I think she's going to do a lot, lot more. If I could give advice to any other tattooer that is interested in someday becoming Ink Master, I would say be confident, believe in yourself, just do your best, and not be afraid. <laughs>